let's go see what's in this area first, because there's an item there that we haven't collected. Let's go let's go play around. Let's go explore. Let's go have some fun. Okay, we're not gonna fight these guys at all. But we're going to, apparently. Two solid charge blasts if you can nail most of the projectiles from the wave beam. From the wave spacer beam. <laughs> we'll take these guys out. But they're bunched up right there, so... Whoa! That was awesome! Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> I had no idea you could even... <laughs> how, would I, how am I doing that cool spread one, though? That one! That's amazing! Sometimes it does, like, the umbrella, sometimes it does that. Like, the upside-down Y. Also, we found something cool here just by playing around. Oops. Oh, also, looks like super missiles will blow away a large chunk of those. Ah, this is cool. Gotta be careful. What's this? Okay, that lets you stand there if you wanted to. Nice! There is that item. Okay, so we found the item here. Well, an item there. I didn't... I thought it was the one we had highlighted, maybe. Alright, so we gotta run back through the room, through the save point, all the way to the top of the shaft, and then back around. On it! Dude, that was awesome! I, I wanna practice that... that bomb formation thing. Alright, so let's see. If you do this and go... Does that. But if you do this and go and let go early? No, that doesn't do it. It just kind of drops them. Oh, you have to hold it long enough. Hmm, interesting. So if you're curious... Oh, sweet. If you're curious, you have to hold down. You have to hold the down direction. So you're charging, you're jumping, and in midair, you hold Morph Ball and down. That's awesome! Oh! That's so cool! I love it! Aerial Minefields! Dude! <laughs> That's something that also happened in Super Metroid. Quite a bit. Dude, the AM2R guys are on point! Like, beyond on point! It's insane! How did we get in here? Oh, that's right, we dropped. We dropped down. Because in Super Metroid, you would discover stuff like that just either by happenstance or the game teaching you in certain ways that I will not spoil, but that do not require actually holding your hand. Um, the design was that good in Super Metroid, but they nailed it here too! You'll find little things like that just on accident too! That's so insanely cool! I feel like I'm gushing about this game quite a lot. And I am completely unapologetic about it, so deal with it. <laughs> okay, so here there was an item somewhere. Speed booster. Up through there. Okay. Okay. 
I missed ya. Oh, stand on this rock. Okay, do you see what they did there? To help you aim your speed booster, stand on that rock. Make sure you're standing right there before you do it, and you'll jump right through it. Okay. <laughs> AM2R guys, what even? What are y'all doing? How are... What? Are you... What? Are you guys professional game designers? Because most of them don't do a good job, as good a job as this. And I mean that. Most of them do not do as good a job as this. Okay, so... Um, we're moving back through here, and we're going to want to do something like... Let's go over here. Let's go explore this. Right? Right. Oh man, the bombs are so cool. Oh, take that. There's an item in this room we missed. Straight from... Oh, straight up. <laughs> Not what I wanted to do! Easy peasy. <laughs> hey there, save room. Actually, this room looks really familiar. Like the layout from Metroid 2, now that I think about it. Alright, so we're headed through here now. Oops, we're just gonna do this real quick. And just clear that out. Ah, it is a super missile door. Probably a Metroid in here. Power bombs. So you need a super missile to get in the room and then power bombs to progress through it. What could be through here? I guess we're gonna let that deter us. We kinda have no choice. But we will space jump around here a little bit and see what we can find. This is all stuff that we probably could have explored with the spider ball. But isn't this a lot easier, dear viewers? Nothing, unfortunately, of note. That leads us through to this. Well, we didn't we didn't explore the lower regions over here. Let's do that.
Looks like we get in there from the other side, or maybe through here. Ooh, what is this? An energy tank. We're just going to stick to the spider ball through here in case anything breaks. Oh, what was that? I got turned around. Aha. <laughs> okay. Spider ball. And boop. And missile. Okay. Wait, there's more stuff through here? Ooh, there's a whole other pathway through here. Well, well, well. Just explore the places you've not been before and you can progress. A lot of the time. Sometimes you will sort of you will sort of wander around Metroid worlds kinda lost if you're new to them. And you're new to Metroid in general. You're gonna get lost. That's Metroid. Oh, I missed. I notice a few people have said that they uh, wanted to pick up Metroid after watching this series. I 100% encourage it. We found one! We're bound to, because seven is still a lot left, right? Nice charge. It cares nothing at all for bombs. We got super missiles, let's use them. Missed. Missed twice. Boom! These things hurt a lot. That's like hitting them with five missiles, by the way. Oh, what? That should have been a direct hit. Dang, that's like 20 missiles worth of damage. 15 missiles worth of damage. Wasted. There we go. They're getting a little easier. And that's how it was originally, too. The first Gamma Metroid you fought was like, what? And then after that, they got a little bit easier and a little more easier and a little more easier. Until eventually they, uh, a little easier, not more easier. But until eventually they start putting them in rooms where they're really difficult to handle. <laughs> where they're really difficult to handle. So there's that. Oh, I should have just kept running. 